Sarah Grace back with you and I just wanted to do a short video on the top 10 foods that I've been loving lately because the last time I made a video like this you guys really liked it and so I'm gonna do new foods even though the other foods I said last time are still foods I love um, like uh, I don't know quest bars and um, my flavored rice cakes and um, what else did I even put in that oh the chocolate greens yeah I use that every day so you can watch that video if you don't know those top 10 foods I mentioned but let's get to the ones behind me that are new for me and that I am loving so first off I got sent this super food like raspberry detox cereal and it's like basically like granola it's like 167 calories per 1.8 ounces 7 grams of fat 25 grams of carbs 5 grams of fiber and then 4 grams of protein and so it's like a great thing I use it as a granola and just kind of like snack on it it's delicious it's really good so it's not something I probably would have bought but like since I got it sent to me, I tried it and I loved it. So there's that, it's from nuts.com. And along with that, another nuts.com product is dried papaya chunks. I used to have a papaya tree back home and like kind of liked it, kind of didn't, but the dried stuff is really good. So I love dried fruit, like dried, in the dried banana slices, those are really good too. So dried fruit is another great like little snack food if you're looking for that kind of thing. Now, getting to products that I found at either TJ Maxx, yes, TJ Maxx does sell food, um, or Trader Joe's, because I just went to both of those places yesterday. This is wasabi popcorn. It is organic with Himalayan sea salts and organic coconut oil. I just love it because it's wasabi, and I like anything with wasabi. I eat so much wasabi when I'm eating sushi. But as soon as I saw that it was wasabi flavor popcorn, I was like sold, I'm getting it, and I just opened it yesterday, and I'm in love. So that is number three. Number four, you guys shouldn't be surprised with this one, but it is pumpkin like Cheerios. It's Pumpkin O's by Trader Joe's brand. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it, and I wasn't disappointed. I was hoping that I wasn't gonna be disappointed by it, and. They didn't let me down. Trader Joe's did not let me down with this one. So this is great. It's like regular Cheerios, like Honey Nut Cheerios, except for it has like a little spice flavor to it. So that is a great one if you have a Trader Joe's near you. And this, no, is not a sponsored video. This is just me finding foods that I love. Next one, also at Trader Joe's, but you can get these like anywhere, is roasted seaweed snacks but these are wasabi flavored, of course, because like I just said, I love anything wasabi. So I kind of forgot about these. I used to get these all the time back home and I found them at Trader Joe's and I was like, oh, I'll get a couple of things of them. So there is that. Next thing on my list, um, no sugar added pickles. These are just like the bread and butter chips, but sometimes I get like the bread and butter, like actual spears, but these were just buy one, get one free. So I got these this time but I love them. They're sweet with Splenda, so you don't have the extra sugar, but they're like a little sweet treat. So if you like pickles, this is where it's at. Next one, like you guys saw in my vlog, maybe, I don't know if you watched it. Ooh, that's awkward. Um, I've been trying to incorporate more fat into my diet. So I have crunchy peanut butter here, and I've been loving it. I, I'm such a crunchy person over smooth person, and, um, yeah, so I get it, it's like the all natural brand. You keep it upside down so that the oil doesn't just all sit at the top. And I've just been eating like a couple spoonfuls every day of it because I love it so much. But it's really good, of course, like normal people on toast and bananas and stuff like that too. Next up is another Trader Joe's and that's fat-free spicy black bean dip. It's really good. I actually tried it for the first time in LA this summer when I stayed with my family over there. They had it and I've been loving it as like a vegetable dip or with my pita bread, or especially when it comes to vegetables, I love it with jicama. If you guys don't know what that is, that's another food I've been loving lately, but I don't have any more of it here because I ate it all. So, but anyways, this is great. It's like a black bean dip, but it is only 30 calories per serving and two grams of protein, two grams of fiber, and six grams of carbs. So that is that. 
Next up, another one that shouldn't surprise you, but pumpkin coffee, guys. It is great, is it in the K-cup? You can order them anywhere, but um, you probably saw this if you saw my ways to avoid stressful mornings video because I had this in there because coffee is life to me lately and especially pumpkin coffee it just makes my day that much better starting it out. And last but not least, one of my own creations is turkey meatballs, guys. I've been making like turkey meatballs a lot and just having them because now that I don't have my sorority's meal plan, I actually have to make food myself. And so turkey meatballs are a great thing. I get like the, mostly it's like 95% lean or something like that, turkey, ground turkey. And I have two recipes on my blog already for these turkey meatballs, but this is actually a new one that I'll probably post sometime in the future. These are spicy Thai ones made with PB2 and uh, hot sauce and soy sauce. Um, but usually you can just ground, like buy any kind of turkey, like ground turkey, mix an egg into it, and then any other like seasonings or anything you want to it, and bake them in the oven, 350 for about 20 minutes, and you've got some great meatballs. But these probably won't last me that long because even though I try like meal prep, I eat like at least five at a time, so <laughs> there's that. It'll only last me a couple of days. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link the oldest one down below. Don't make fun of me in that video though, because it is old, aka I'm a little awkward in it. Um, but, hope you guys liked this video. Click the thumbs up if you did, or yeah, I hope you did. And subscribe, of course, if you aren't already. Until next time guys, comment below what you want to see next on this channel. Bye. Be real with you guys. I'm going to be honest, it is a great major and a great process, but there's a lot of things that you have to know going into it. So let's just get started.